And did you have a chance to look at that yet? I did, and I think uh, we'll stay with the agenda. Okay. Bill is going to. Bill is uh, the, the spokesperson for the Innovative Energy Committee, and he's going to. And, and they've already met and come up with a lot of ideas. And uh, Bill, I'm going to give that to you. Okay. How long do you want me to go? <laughs> um, first, I'll have to apologize for having my uniform shirt on. I put my little Marquette all day, and I keep trying to cover that up with a state <laughs> um, Energy innovation. <coughs> Uh, we met on December 28th. Um, uh, we we had quite a <coughs> quite an aggressive agenda. And anybody that's on that committee, please you know correct me as I'm going along here. I'm not going to get into all the details on it. Um, I'm going to try to hit the highlights. Um, <coughs> basically, it, it, rather than being a meeting, we turned it into a brainstorming session, trying to come up with different ideas, what what our community has, what assets we have have to offer, um, especially as they relate to uh, energy production. Um, we identified um, six different types of energy production um, that Antonag or that are potential here. Um, we <coughs> identified biomass, wind, wave current geothermal, solar, and waste combustion fuel. Um, there's a lot of discussion on all of those, those uh, different types of energy production or potential energy production. Um, it was generally agreed that biomass, wind, wave current, and waste combustion fuel are the most promising for our area based on the natural resources that we already have. Um, <coughs> There were, uh, there was, the, the part of the discussion was that uh, uh, there are, I have to be gingerly on, on what I say and we'll hopefully we'll come up with more information later, but um, there were people that are a part of our group <coughs> that were approached by a gentleman who <laughs> makes a waste combustion fuel um, processor or generator which generates electricity. They use landfill waste to generate electricity. Um, they're interested in uh, Smurfit Stone because they have a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff that they have over there. Um, they could utilize in this this process. Um, so there's ongoing discussions on that. Uh, like I said, I'm not trying to get everyone's hopes up, but um, that is, is something that is potentially out there. Um, and again, with all the negotiations with Smurf and Stone, whether it can be purchased, whether it can't, all of those things play a factor in there. Um, not only was he talking about using Smurf and Stone um, to produce electricity, but also um, using Antonagin um, to produce these products that he, he has a patent on that generates electricity using waste products. Currently, they're manufactured overseas, and he feels that he could um, actually save costs by bringing that production over here. So there, there is, that was one of the real positive things that came out. Um, in addition, um, there is some discussion <coughs> about Traxi's um, proposal to increase the white pine plant from 40 to 120 megawatts uh, using biomass. Like I said, I'm not going to hit on all of this. Um, we also uh, found out that uh, Gogebic Community College um, is working towards a wind turbine technical training course in 2010. Um, and we felt that uh, Antonagan County and, um, should try to partner with them and, and uh, use whatever resources they have. Um, energy poten potential. Um, production of, electric, of electrical energy through the use of biomass, wind, wave, current, and waste combustion fuel was discussed. Uh, the o overriding premise was that we currently import energy into the region and that if we had green energy to sell, whether you want to call it green or an alternative energy, but if we had energy to sell, um, we could be an exporter of energy. Uh, without any modification to the current grid, we should be able to uh, produce what we currently use and redirect what what we produce back into the grid and actually export energy. Kind of make
makes sense. Um, energy manufacturing, several ideas came up for manufacturing products that are related to energy production. Um, generally agreed that manufacturing close to the source of, of the energy is good business. Uh, although production of electrical electricity using solar and geothermal was thought to be less advantageous here, um, production of solar panels or and solar, solar and geothermal products is not necessarily out of the question. We could certainly produce those things here, even though they may not produce a lot of electricity here. We could still venture that, that direction. Uh, pellet stove manufacturing. Um, we have a, a lot of certified welders uh, in our community. Uh, evidently, I've ever brought up in the meeting that a lot of the employees at Smurf and Stone are certified welders. And maybe there's something there that um, they could get into um, making pellet stoves or, or stoves of that sort. Uh, could produce a, there's a little bit of discussion about a device that uh, generates electricity from biomass that's used in a residential setting where you burn biomass and it actually generates electricity or other, kind of like a boiler only generates electricity. Um, and there's, there, one of the people that was there um, knows quite a bit about it and said that there needs to be some engineering done, but it would be something that could be sold on a, on a Menard shelf. The waste combustion fuel process um, th that could be built here as well as well as utilized here. Uh, the, the waste combustion fuel processors are currently built overseas, I mentioned that, um, and the manufacturing 